Hello, this is Karen Leslie. Today I'm going to show you how I cut the blanks for my small art pieces. What I have here is a sheet of acrylic paper, which comes in a pad and is made with a canvas texture to hold acrylic paints. This is my paper trimmer with safety blades that slide up and down. These are patterns I've made in various sizes. I've got several of the common sizes that frames and mats are cut to. Um, the tiny one is trading card sized. I like using these because I can easily trace them and not have to worry about measuring every time. For this size paper, I can get two 5 by 7 inch sized blanks and one 4 by 6. So I just line it up and trace it. And I make sure to extend the line all the way across so I can line it up easily in the cutter. I'm not sure if you can see these lines on the camera, but they are there. And there's the 4x6. Of course, every size pattern will have a different number in placement. I just work it out to get the most blanks with the least waste paper. And now I put the sheet in the cutter. Make sure the pencil line is lined up. and slice it in a perfect straight line. And just keep cutting on each line. These pieces go in the recycle bin, and there are our nicely cut blanks. What I do now is trace a smaller rectangle inside so the art has a border around it. The inside pattern I'm using is 4 by 6 inches, which is a common inside measurement for a 5 by 7 mat. So I just trace around that with the pencil. Again, you probably can't see the lines, but they are there. Of course, you can make your art any size you want, but I like to make it as easy as possible for my customers. So I like using common frame and mat sizes that you can find in any store. And there you have it. Three art blanks ready to be painted. In the next video, I'll show how I tape off the edges of the paper to get a nice sharp edge on the art. See you next time. Bye.